Kevin and I took a very fun trip out from Pearl Harbor where we went out on a, a hunter-killer right. Los Angeles class which was an incredibly insightful time and spending a lot of time speaking to the crew and Commander McGuinness and always asking questions to do with our story and, and where his mindset would be in those situations. Is this all There's also a commitment that you get. Um, we wanted to be as authentic as we could. And the movie is about balancing that authenticity against what makes a great film. And I think that was our real challenge and what coming down here and going out on the Houston was about how do we take this real life and actually dramatize it in a way that honors you guys as well as makes a great film? Special thing about having a small crew so I was very impressed with, with, with that part, the, the mentality, you know, and, and, and by the way, the courage. The courage because when you come down here, you realize, you know, even in a movie, you can show it, but to really do it, to really be underwater for those long periods of time with the constant threats that they face. Um, takes a huge amount of steadiness and, 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 and courage. To me it was the, the mindset and that mindset coming from an unbelievable amount of training and drilling. Um, you understand why this is the best military in the world. They don't stop. So we would do a battle stations drill. Even if it was incredible, it was never good enough. So you do it again, you do it again, you do it again. And that's what these soldiers do all day long. I really wanted to depict those sailors as realistically as possible, not just in what they did, but also their relationships and how they spoke and how they interacted with each other. So the extra part of the courage and valor, that that's a very profound feeling you get when you actually come underwater and you exist and live with these guys. It was also our job to make them feel what it would feel like to be underwater, like real sailors. And I actually went underway on the Texas and shot with real crew, and I'm intercutting that real crew with the actors in a way that you don't even realize who's crew, who's actors. And I've got to say, the U.S. is Texas, though. They were a good bunch of performers. Um, we, had, we had an enclosed set for the control room, so you could really feel, if you just used your imagination, it felt like you were down there. And then we took that whole set, we put it on a gimbal, so we could actually tilt it through all the degrees. So when he says 15 degrees, right hard, right we could actually tilt this entire set, and everybody had to hold on. And it kind of works on their imagination, you could see in their faces. So. One, better fire, right, Captain. Ship ready. Solution ready. And again, as Donovan said, the authenticity was so important that... that <clears throat> The, the commands, the repetitions, where people move when certain things are happening. We would go right from the establishing that there's a threat to making contact to the whole sequence of battle stations to moving through into a torpedo attack. That sometimes they were like five, seven, minutes Yeah, we'd run the whole long. sequence, yeah. And you've gone everywhere where I had to go. And by the end, you're like breathless, you're sweating, and you're looking around, you have goosebumps. If there was another career that I had to choose, um, I would definitely consider this one. I love the, the power that goes with that. I was astonished at how much they had to know and also how much they seemed to love the job. And that's one of the things that we wanted to get across in this movie is, is the brilliance and the courage and the, and, the, and the steadfastness of these warriors.